Welcome, it is January the 31st, Tuesday morning, 2017, and we're talking about faith. So excited to be discussing faith with you. Here we are today in Hebrews 11, 20 through 22, and here's what it says. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he was dying, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instruction concerning his bones. When we say faith gives hope about the future, we have witness to this in the scriptures. Here are three men of faith who spoke about their faith into the future by blessing future generations. Now, anyone can pretentiously speak about the future for their children and, and grandchildren. But these three men spoke about the future because of the promise of God to their seed. Their seed, they were told, would become as numerous as the sands of the seashore. You see, they believed and trusted God would keep his promise. They had found in their life that God was trustworthy. So Isaac prophesied over Jacob that nations would bow down to him. He pronounced blessing over his future. Jacob saw God multiply his wealth under his father-in-law Laban's deceitful practices. <laughs> Jacob experienced God quieting his brother's anger when in the past he had spoken about killing him. Joseph suffered undue hardship at the hand of his brothers and Potiphar's wife, but saw the hand of God in it when he told his brothers these words, you meant it for evil. God intended it for good to save many lives. Joseph was so sure of the promise given to Abraham that Abraham's descendants would come out of Egypt and inherit the land, promised Abraham, that even though right now it, it's, it seemed like a dream, it didn't have any foundations, except that the Lord God had made the promise, so Joseph gave instructions concerning his bones to remove them from Egypt when they left for the land of promise. We have stated before that faith is forward looking. Faith has eyes that see things that can't be seen in the present. Faith lays a hold of what God declares will come to pass. Faith is tenacious. It doesn't lay back but it goes ahead. Unfortunately, we come to expect that things must be certain before we act. Way too many things impede our obedience to what God says. Someone a lightning bolt to hit them from out of heaven. Others can't trust that God said it unless a committee voted on it. Many think that at the first sign of opposition, that's a sure sign that God didn't want us on this trail to begin with. Can you imagine what Joseph would have thought if he believed that when his brothers sold him into slavery? Would his conversation with God have gone something like this? God, you said my brothers would bow down before me and my father would also. Now how is this going to happen? I've been sold to these Ishmaelites. I'm a slave, not some high-ranking official. We don't have any record of that kind of conversation, but we do have record of his final words, his final comments, and it appears that he had trusted God all along, so he never needed that conversation. What do you see in the future? Have you believed God's report? Is God's report subsidiary to man's report about the future? By faith we walk, and not by sight. Keep the faith. No one has challenged God to the throne. Let's pray. 
Father, thank you for every promise in your word concerning those who follow you. We are keeping the faith about those promises. We lay hold of them so that we might walk in faith toward you. Oh, bless your people today, God, as they obey you and walk in that faith. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. God's grace and peace over you today. Have a fantastic day.